joy, joy. This is Swami the Orange Cowboy. Welcome to another episode of Angel Feathers. Today, I'm so pleased to introduce you to Lori Dickinson. She's got an amazing story to tell how that after her daughter died, feathers began to appear all over her house. And that's just the beginning. Lori, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell us your story, Lori. Huh. Um, well, my daughter, Katerina Dickinson, um, she was 20 years old. Um, she passed away 22, actually 23 months ago, February 10th of um, 2017. Um, and at 4.45, I got that knock on my door that every parent dreads from the police that my daughter was killed in a car crash. A couple days later, um, I received a phone call from a stranger that had a dream about my daughter. And she's like, you're not going to believe me. You probably think I'm weird, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So I listened. Um, and she said, you know, I had a dream about your daughter and, and my sister died 10 years ago and I haven't dreamed of her ever, but I dreamed of her for the first time in my life last night, but she was with this beautiful blonde girl and filled the flowers. And this blonde girl had a feather in her hand and she was taking the feather and she was waving it back and forth and she was skipping and singing. And she called her over to this lady and she started singing, you're my sunshine, my only sunshine to her. And, um, just beautifully she said her voice was gorgeous and I mean Katarina loved to sing but I don't remember her voice being gorgeous but I guess in heaven it's gorgeous now um and she said to this lady she says I want you to tell my mom that I've contacted you and that I'm singing this song to you she goes I don't know your mom she goes you will you'll find me go on Facebook tomorrow and you're going to find a news feed about me and my mother and I want you to tell her well that's what that lady did she contacted me and she told me um and I was flipped because the song, You're My Sunshine, I sung to my daughter since birth. And we actually had it imprinted in a sterling silver necklace she did for her sister for her birthday. And it had a sun on it and You're My Sunshine on the other end. Um, shortly after that phone call, I was in the bathroom. I was getting ready to take a bath. I take a bath in this jacuzzi bathtub that has a waterfall outside. And Katarina always knew when I took my bath, it was around seven o'clock. So I went to run the faucet and on top of the faucet was a beautiful white feather about this big wow. sitting on the faucet. And I looked at it and I was like, what is that? And I looked down and I'm like, that's a feather. And immediately I knew my whole body just got goosebumps and it was a sign from her. And that was like two days after she died. And after that, they just started randomly appearing, you know, um, and there was yeah. no there was no window open, no door open to the outside. No, we don't open our windows because we have uh, we live in Florida, so it's hot, and we have asthma, and we have the air conditioning on all the time. Oh, okay. And so, and it was on the bathtub, <laughs> yeah. and two days later, you know, we have a little Yorkie. She usually gets up and wakes my eleven year old up or nine year old at the time. Um, in the morning to get up for school. So she jumps up in the bed to wake her up from the school and a feather sitting on the Yorkie's nose, right <laughs> on the nose, <laughs> on the nose. And the feather was so light mm. that you could just blow it. So for it to stick on the dog's nose, when she jumped up to land on my daughter's chest so she could see it was purposely planted there. Since then have collected probably 38 feathers Wow. that are on her dresser currently right now, white, gray, and black. All from uh, the inside the house? Inside the house or in my car. Okay. Or um, my husband was on an appointment. My husband wasn't getting any feathers. and He was getting kind of upset. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting jealous. So he goes to Kat He says to Katarina on the patio one day, he goes, Katarina, I need a feather because he's, he's not the believing type, those kind of things. So he goes, listen, I need a feather just for me that I can see just myself, that I don't miss it. And I just want it for me. And he goes, I want it big so I don't pass it up. So he goes to work that day. He goes on an appointment. He goes into this lady's house to write her for a contract. And he walks into the house and lo and behold, was a mermaid quilt behind this lady's couch. And my daughter was a, ch a traveling mermaid. Huh. 
So the quilt's behind there, and he's like, nah, that's coincidental. That's not good enough. <laughs> not good enough, Katarina. Anybody can have a mermaid quilt. So he leaves the appointment, gets his contract, he opens up the door, and they're talking about Katarina during this whole conversation. He walks out the door, and an owl feather this big was sitting on the front porch right outside the door. Wow. And the lady he sold it to, she comes out and she goes, I think this belongs to you. Wow. And he comes home and he goes, I got it, I got it, I got my feather. It's real, it's real, it's Katarina. And I said, I told you. A lot of people who, who do believe in angels talk about how they see feathers and they pick them up. But that's outdoors. So for it to happen, well, even outdoors for it to just land in your hand, that's quite unusual. At a water park. <laughs> <laughs> and, had a and and to have them happening in the house, that's even more unusual. Yeah. So it's a beautiful story. So going forward, Lori, how does this experience change your life and your relationship with angels and what you may do going forward with angels? There is a heaven and there are angels that protect you. People who talk to me after hearing my story will tell me that all of a sudden they're starting to get signs. Well, it certainly sounds like you've got a, a gift to help people connect with their angels and the loved ones they've lost. And I thank you so much for sharing both your story and message of where you may be headed to help other people. Yep. Thank you so much for being here, Lori. Thank you. Folks, until next time, this is Swami, the Orange Cowboy, wishing you angel feathers of joy, joy, joy.